Guys, I got to touch on this real quick, all right? Hearing Donald Trump speak after all this time, talking about Joe Biden's inauguration in the office and what he's done since he's been in office. Let's hurry up and get into it right now. What do you say about the transparency with the current administration? Well, there is none. There is none. And, you know, I guess you're supposed to have a press conference on Thursday. But the questions will all be softballs. I've watched uh, the interviews. I like George Stephanopoulos, but I watched those couple of interviews, and it was a joke. It was just like a softball. Anybody could answer him, and yet he almost couldn't answer him, to be honest with you, so you know that. Uh, so it'll be interesting. I hear the questions are all vetted. Uh, you don't have the same people in there. I mean, you might have the same people, but it's a whole different uh, it's a whole different set of questions. It's ridiculous, the questions that are asked. You know, uh, what did you have for dinner? Uh, what kind of ice cream do you have as he walks out? I mean, they, don't, they never talk to me that way, and that's okay. I had a lot of press conferences. I enjoyed press conferences because you get the word out. It's the only way to get an honest word out because the press is well, really not a free press. The press is not a free press in our country. Okay, so the way you get the press out is with press conferences. Now, he doesn't need them because the press protects him totally. I mean, anybody else, if that were me that hasn't had a press conference for as long for the number of, I mean, with all the things going on, especially at the border, but really you have things as big as the border. We're not going to be energy independent within three months. I mean, think of that. I worked so hard. First time ever, we were energy independent. We didn't need Russia. We didn't need uh, the Middle East. We didn't need anybody. We were energy independent. Now it's being thrown away. And all those countries, by the way, including Ukraine, where his son has an interest, big interest, are going to make a fortune. They're going to make a fortune. And look at the way gasoline prices are going up at the pump. Harris, look at the gasoline prices, how they're going up at the pump. And again, these are are all things that if you had a traditional news conference a few weeks ago, we wouldn't be playing catch up on this. I don't know that you can get all of this done on Thursday. And, you know, when he was asked about the president of the United States there, we see video on the screen, Joe Biden, he was asked about going to the border because I want to toggle back just a little bit and the gag order that's on all of us there. When he was asked whether or not he would go, he said, at some point. You've been to the border, Mr. Trump, and you know that Many when you times. go or or the first lady goes, as she did, Melania Trump, when you go to the border, you bring a, a different level of attention to whatever is going on down there. Democrats are not calling this a crisis, yet they sent in FEMA and HHS. So I want to talk with you about the transparency specifically with this issue. Should border agents be able to talk with us openly? I mean, our Griff Jenkins had to really get in there and follow some because we can't even do ride alongs right now. What are your thoughts right. about They should be able to talk openly, but the reason they can't is because Joe Biden's gag order. And the reason for that is because transparency between the borders, border patrol and the mainstream media will show how Joe Biden has failed this country with border security and how they have no control over any issues that's going on right now in this country. And nobody knows what's going on in the White House. Let's go ahead and continue. About what likely is going on behind the scenes that we can't see. That's a lot of questions. So I'll just let you go at it. Well, I let the Border Patrol speak, as you know. I spoke a lot. I went to the border and I went to the border also to learn because As an example, I was going to build a precast concrete wall with nothing you can't see through it. And uh, I went with the Border Patrol and they had a specific wall. They wanted it steel. They wanted concrete insets. They wanted rebar. They wanted different things. And they needed vision. They had to have great vision through the wall. I wouldn't have built the wall we had. I would have built a different wall. And frankly, it would have been less expensive and it would have gone up uh, in in many ways easier. But it wouldn't have been as good. This one has everything, all the bells and whistles, all of the tremendous security uh, wiring. It's all wired for various forms of security and drones and everything you could possibly have. So I learned, you know, from being there, if I didn't talk to them, I would have had something that would not have worked like Mm. this one is working. So, you know, you have to go there. This is a major problem, and it shows a level of dishonesty. So they'll say something like, uh, we did the vaccine, not Trump. Okay. And... We have to respond to that. Then they'll say the same thing here. Oh, it was Trump's fault. And we had record good numbers. And this is not 20 years, as I said before. This is many, many years. It's never been like this. Nobody's ever seen anything like what's happening now. But but I, I also said... 
A hundred percent, guys. What he's saying pretty much is that the lack of transparency between the media and the White House is to help hide what's going on with Joe Biden's addressing the current issues that the country is facing today. And then in four years when it's debate time and people ask him, well, Joe Biden, what about border security? Why why did you spend eighty six million dollars to house illegal immigrant immigrants and hotels? When we got homeless people in our streets today in our in our own country and he's going to say well it's trump's fault it was trump's policies it was because he spent so much money towards the wall building the wall on the southern border that's that contributed to the uh illegal immigration problem the surge in illegal immigration problem which i touched in another video of mine um that we have today and pretty much they're hiding joe biden is what he's saying and they'll give them credit for this COVID-19 vaccine, which I think very few people really care about. Um, they're going to he's going to blow that up and make that as one of his huge one of his largest accomplishments. Um, but in reality, he's not doing anything for the American people except raising our taxes, raising our gas prices and anything else that goes wrong. He's going to throw it on the previous administration. Let's go ahead. Said before. Way do you see what happens because it's going to get worse? Look 100%. at the numbers of people well, that are heading up here. Harris, look and, at the numbers of people. 100%. No, it's, it's, it's true. And they, they have now officially done what they think they can do. There's more to come. We don't know what that will look like. Man, I miss, I miss Trump, man. I really do. I really do miss Trump. I'm not even going to get into the election and the process uh last year but a hundred percent what trump is saying is accurate you know joe biden they they rushed him in here under the banner of obama the democrats got him in here and i'm sure that a lot of democrats are having buyer's remorse right now joe biden has not fulfilled any of the promises that he said he was going to fulfill our taxes are going up our gas prices are going up black lives matter has done nothing for the black community. Nothing is being done for the black community. He's passed um, executive orders for transgenders. Joe Biden has not done what he said he's going to do other than to get in a position where he can usher in far left leaning policies. Um, and anything negative that happens from this point um, throughout the four years until the next presidential election, they're going to put it on Donald Trump. They're going to say it's Trump's fault. It was because he did this. It's because he said something in an interview years ago, and it was how he said it. That's why we have the issues uh, with Asian discrimination today and all these, all this other nonsense. Um, you know, I just had to get into this this video because I really do miss Trump as our president. And a lot of what Trump is saying is true. And I'm glad that Fox News is actually addressing the fact that Joe Biden hasn't take, taken any press conferences. And it's similar to how he ran his campaign. If you remember his campaign, Joe Biden didn't really speak a lot on his campaign at all. He didn't really talk and get asked direct, hard questions about his policies and exactly what he's going to do once he holds office um, or if he was elected. Now he's in office. But if he was elected... Um, as president of the United States. And it's because Joe Biden, in my opinion, isn't running anything as far as policy. Um, I think that Kamala Harris, I mean, there's stories out where she's taking calls with foreign leaders. I think that she's behind the scenes calling the shots. And I think there may be other factors playing into what policies actually get passed throughout the United States. But Joe Biden clearly is just a figurehead um, I didn't even know anything about Joe Biden until Obama ran for office. Um, and then they say he's the most popular president. How? How can somebody be the most popular president in all of history and haven't taken one press conference since he's been elected into office? That's because Joe Biden has nothing to say. They wanted to rush Joe Biden in there so that the left can pass the policies that they want to pass. Leave it a, a comment in the, uh, leave a comment in the comment box below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree with Trump or do you think he's tripping? Do you guys think that Joe Biden's doing a good job or do you have or do you think that Joe Biden um, isn't doing a good job in office? Do you think that if you're Democrat, are you having buyer's remorse uh, from voting for Joe Biden? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if I'm tripping. Um, please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more content.